characters that you would never believe would be in a Smash Bros. game. Yeah. If you had told 14-year-old Jade all, like, yo, in the next, like, Smash game, or, like, the next two Smash games will have Cloud, Ryu, uh, Mega Man, I would have actually, like... Solid Snake. Yeah. I would have, like, actually smacked you. Because <laughs> you're the... Not talk about Smash <laughs> like that. Yeah. You know, like, that one so kid in your neighborhood? That's Goku? Uh. Yeah, you know that one kid in your neighborhood, like, always makes up, like, characters in the next Smash game? Cause yeah, uncle <laughs> like, they make Nintendo. wish lists? <laughs> yeah, because, like, oh, my uncle works at Nintendo, and they'll have Ryu, Pac-Man. I would told you to shut up. <laughs> We you and Pac Man, come on, man. That's just dumb. Yet here we are in the beautiful world of 2017 where anything is possible, Ooh. such as catching Limit Cross Slash just off of a nair like that. Zorak showing he got a pretty, pretty nice cloud. Yeah, and that's one of the things that gets me hype about um, like certain things about the characters, like just seeing their tech chases, their options. And when you have a limit, you do not want to miss any techs against Cloud. It doesn't matter like if it goes off a of Nair or off of like uh, F tilt or anything like. And you have his air and hits because he can kill you with that limit cross. It slash. doesn't matter like how far away you fly even because he was like half the screen away when he got that Nair. But because of the airspeed, he was just land able to land right in front of him with that cross slash. But I don't know what he was looking for with that one. He was looking for the uh, back dash on the focus, trying to keep the pressure going. So I like the idea in theory, but in execution, the risk reward is a little bit skewed. But when you have a lead like that, just throw it out there sometimes, man. You're feeling yourself, you're feeling those buttons. Hit them. Hit those buttons. Follow your dreams, my guy. Oh, wow. Cross slash to cross slash. No limit needed. Potentially looking a bit lost for words right now. Yeah, you know he's going to be looking for the sure you can, but like just those big disjoints of Cloud is not going to give him anything. And just like that, going out there so deep, knowing that, you know, you can't absorb the focus, or you can't focus absorb all those hits. That's going to be Zorak's Yeah, he was dropping down there looking for either an air dodge or focus attack dashing. Mm -hmm. And either way, I feel like he would have been in a position to punish it. As we saw, he was able to get the stock that way. Zorak's very convincingly taking game one. Yeah, and he looks super comfortable in that matchup, too. You can tell that I feel like that was a lot of Ryu experience coming through as well, because I don't think, in hindsight, I don't think he got hit by a single up tilt the entire game. Yeah, I'm you're going right. through mentally, and I don't remember, like, a pivotal up tilt, let it alone didn't even look tilt. like It didn't even look like he gave him a chance to go for up tilts. Mm -hmm. Like, there were a couple times they were, like, hugging shield next to each other, but besides that, like, he's been very agile, very all over the place, very outside of Ryu's tilt range. So now we'll see if Tension can do the magic with Fox. Yeah, see what he can make happen. Now he's looking miles more comfortable than he was that game number one. This is Tension playing some Fox in the cloud right now, and this is a clinic right now. Everyone at home, take notes, because this is how this matchup goes when you are just playing at yeah, He's some making of your this best. matchup look like unwinnable right now, because this entire match so far has been on that left side of the stage, has been Cloud trying to get up from the ledge. Yeah, this man has been on that ledge for like generations. Excellent pivot grab. It's still absolutely untouched right now by Tension. He's taking on more and more damage. Zorax not able to get anything going in the ledge pressure right now by Tension. The neutral get-ups are actually just being totally checked down by every single option that he, uh, Tension's throwing out. Oh, finally getting a hit in. It will not be a true zero to death. Yeah, it's not. But, you know, 8 to death is still looking pretty good right now, too. Or 8%, um, you know, oh. only on him in the stock. But even though... Excuse me? What? Are the, what? I had a thought there, but that just got he obliterated like, by, like, he the like fact that he just... right there. Yeah. Okay, so now it just seems like tension's actually impossible to hit right now. The plot armor is too real. If he's just running through a cross slash and not even caring, well, that, that's that's some momentum if there ever was some. Well, now we're seeing some pivot grabs coming in from our cloud. Yeah, but the spacing from tension right now is still really good. Um, I really like that up air, though. Finally throwing out some option that is unconventional to try and break the flow that tension has. Oh, wow. Nice little pivot there. Uh, continuing the up, up tilt string. Man, talking is so hard. I know, right? Relatable. But, yep. Bring him back up. Hitting the tech, but it doesn't even matter if you don't tech roll away. The limit's on deck, and that's going to actually make him eat another up air um, on top of that string that already happened there. Zorax needs to make something 
happen, but he blows that limit too. This is looking, I don't know, not that great right now. The back air not even sealing the stock. You know, either. even if these limits don't hit, it's still such a nice change of pace to see a cloud who's not afraid to press the B button when he's glowing blue. You know, no shots is ever or anything, but you know, it'd be really nice to see some flashy cross slashes sometimes. But I mean, like against tension, but, uh, maybe, maybe not against tension, because that game two was looking like an absolute blowout. Yikes. So Zorax getting a bit of coaching from uh, Dinner Pants and um, see if he can recollect himself for this game number three. And I would be surprised if a switch doesn't come out, either in stage or character. Yeah, I can't imagine he's feeling too confident about Cloud after that one. Uh. Yep, this is what this is Here what we all we expected. Go. From but the it's cars. okay, he's going the wolf color, so it's not a ditto. It's a rivalry. Fair enough. If that's how you want to justify it. <laughs> that's how we'll get through this, guys. Don't worry. But yeah, that whole spiel I had on Ditto's before, I see how it plays out right now because these two are both very, very potent with their characters and um, very comfortable on the two. So I'll be really interested to see how certain scenarios play out. Now, to my understanding, a lot of where the damage early on is going to come from is Rapid Jab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because honestly, so much of Fox's traditional options become unsafe because he's just a fast faller, just like that. You hit him with an up tilt, the man is already on the ground and he's squaring up to hit you again. So you have to keep your pressure totally, totally sealed and maybe not hold jab as long. Because <laughs> to be honest, like if anyone's going to know how to punish that, it'll be like, you know, these two players who have main Fox for such a long time. Oh, barely missing an up tilt, getting him punished with another one. Looking for a very greedy air dodge there. Able to make back to the stage, though. No problem. Yeah, the punish could have been a bit worse. But uh, Zorax is getting the better end of these uh, little scenarios where he's getting the up tilt because he's getting the weak hit. And that's uh, really scary against um, a fast follower like Fox because it'll work for so much longer. And actually, it'll work at ranges where it will kill just because like, he's just so light. Fourth throw going to send him off stage. Tension have to recover a bit low, but that is, I would say free, but you know what? It all, worked. All part of the plan. It was it all worked. calculated. That Every wasn't a fair footstool attempt. That was a ledge guard. Yeah, yeah. If it works, we take those. But Tension, unfortunately, missing the tech. I right almost there, feel like he intentionally got the final hit because he wasn't expecting to have to tech. I don't think he was expecting to have to uh, go that deep because usually in that scenario it'll trade and then like Fox will just fall to his doom while the other Fox will bounce up. So, you know, not really buffing that fastball. That could have been really dangerous for him, but all's well that ends well. And Zorax has a lead against, uh, you know, one of the premier Foxes of MDVA, but Tension uh, bringing it right back with that back air. And now we're kind of in that range where we'll see the jab start to come out again, just because, like I was saying before, the fast falling and um, at lower percents without a lot of rage, that'll be just jab city for these two players. But Tension recognizing Whoa. he has just enough rage to make that up tilt string work. Just and like even that, we are at even percent yet again. Yeah, this matchup is such a matchup with just small windows, and just nice like that, catch. yeah, that catch was beautiful right there from Zorax, uh, clanking in a way that he can tag him with the back air too. But the uh, vortex right at, uh, or vortex coming through yet again. Tension evening up that percent. Let's see what the ledge pressure is, because right now, oh, he, he had the He was so read. ready to punish that with up smash, but it was just slightly out of place for it. And with that, we lose still a 9% difference now. And these nares coming through are so scary, because at this percent, uh, we could see an untech will uh, spin. If they recognize that, that could be it. And Zarax popping off, and dinner pants popping off too. That'll be a victory for the underdog tonight. Zorax will move on to top eight, or through top eight. These new age foxes coming through, man. Mm -hmm. With the technology. And that was actually a really good read right there by Zorax. Even that game through scenario, recognizing that so many foxes will be opting to jump um, just because like he's a fast fall, will get to the ground faster, and it's relatively safe a lot of the times. 